Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see HEB network or HEBian group. So this network, it comes under artificial neural network, which is an architecture of large number of interconnected elements called neurons. So we are going to learn this HEP network today, which is one of the easiest learning rule under artificial neural network. Come, let's get started. In 1949, Donald HEP, he is a person who introduced this HEP network. He says that whenever there is a learning in brain, if, it, if the learning has to occur, then this is because of the change in the synaptic gap. So because of the metabolic change or growth in synaptic gap, learning occurs in brain. So let me explain with the help of biological neuron. So this is an example which depicts a biological neuron. So each neuron will have three main parts. One is a cell body or otherwise it is called a soma where the nucleus is located. And you have another part of the part of this neuron is axon which is a single long connection extending from one neuron to another neuron and third part is the dendrites it is nothing but a small nerves which is connected to the cell body at the end of this dendrites there will be a small bulb like organ that is called a synapse through which this synapse this another axon will be connected that is nearby neuron will be connected so whenever any learning has to takes place or whenever any electrical impulse has to pass to has to be sent to the brain this electrical impulse will be sent to the axon and then it reaches the cell body and through the dendrites will reach the synapse and it will go to the next neuron likewise it goes to the next nearby neurons and then reach the brain so whenever you want to do the learning in brain there should it, this learning will occur only due to the changes in the synaptic gap okay let me tell you a simple example when you first started driving you will be conscious about turning and reverse once it becomes a habit for you, you will be driving and you will be hearing, you will be doing some other task like you will be hearing the music and you will be driving on the road. So likewise, he, the HEB, what he does is he wanted to implement the same thing in artificial neural network. He says that, so when you are going to train the network, the networks, the neurons will get trained. So it becomes a habit. So it will do its work automatically without any human intervention this is what he identified so he says this heb rule are like this so the definition of the heb rule is when an axon of cell a is near enough to excite cell b repeatedly or permanently firing it then some growth or metabolic change takes place in both of the cells so what this definition says is that, so when you have two neurons, when you have a neuron A and you have a neuron B. So when you, when this particular axon of this neuron A is trying to excite the axon of this neuron B, then there will be some metabolic changes. Some metabolic changes occurs in the synaptic gap of both the cells. So this is what he identified and he came up with the rule called Heb rule. This HEP network, it forms a basis for unsupervised learning and it is used in pattern association, pattern categorization and pattern classification. So this HEP network can be used in, in all these applications. So suppose if you want to do any classification or if you want to do any association, then you can use this HEP network. So HEP law, it follows the two principles. The first principle is that if the two neurons, if you have two neurons on either side of the connection are activated synchronously, if both the neurons are activated synchronously, then the weight associated between the two neurons are increased. That means if the both the neurons are switched on or activated on, then the weights associated with this particular neuron and this particular neuron will be increased. The second law says that if the two neurons on either side of the connection are activated asynchronously, then the weights associated with them are decreased. Okay, So these are the two laws it is stated by Donald Hebb. So according to HEP learning, 
So he says that if two interconnected neurons are on simultaneously, then the weights associated with them will be increased. So this occurs by the modification made in this synaptic gap. So that's why the HEP, he has framed one simple formula saying that new weights will be equal to old weights plus this is your change in weights or it may be you, you can say that it is the synaptic gap. So changes in the synaptic gap. Okay. So this is nothing but xi into y. X represent your input vector and y represent your output vector. So by having the changes in your synaptic gaps, the new weights will also get changed. So this is formed by a simple formula like this. Okay. So in this video, I am going to teach you three things. One will be the introduction about the HEP network. The second is the flowchart of this HEP network. And the third is the training algorithm for this new HEP network. So using this, the basic introduction and the algorithm, you can able to solve the problem which is given using your HEP network. Okay. Next, we learn what is the flowchart for this HEP network. So the flowchart says that first we are going to start this and again first you have to initialize the weights. Okay. So the weights can be initialized. It can be set to zero also. So you are going to initialize all the weights in the network. The second is that for each training input output pair that is yes yes comma t you are for each training input output pair you are going to perform the steps like this so the first is that if this is for each input pair you are going to activate the input unit so activation is nothing but xi is equal to si okay and you are going to activate the output unit output unit is y is equal to t okay and then you are going to perform weight update the weight update formula will be wi new will be equal to wi old plus xi into y. So this is the weight updation and you are going to update the bias also. The bias will be b new that is new bias weight will be equal to old bias weights old bias weights plus y. Okay, so these are the steps you have to perform for each input output pair. So if there is no input output pair, then you are going to stop. You are going to stop this flowchart. Okay, this is the basic flowchart for your HEP network. So for you are going to initialize the weights and you are going to take one set of inputs, input output pair. And for each thing, you are going to activate input unit, output unit. And then you are going to update the weights and you are going to update the bias. Okay. And you are going to proceed this until you are going to, you have no more input output pair. Once if there is no more input output pair, you are going to stop this flowchart. Okay. Now we will see the training algorithm for this HEP network. So the first is step one, you are going to initialize the weights. Okay. So it may be your, you can initialize the weights. That means you can set to zero or otherwise you can give a random weights. Okay. And you, you are all, you are also initialize the weights and also bias. Okay. For all the inputs, you are going to initialize the weights and bias that is in step zero. In step one, you are going to for each training pair, for each training input and output pair, input and output pair, you are going to perform the steps 2 to 4. Okay. You are going to perform the steps 2 to 4. Okay. That is in step 1. So in the step 2, what you are going to do is you are going to set the activation unit. So you are going to set the activation input unit xi is equal to si. Okay. And in the step 3, you are going to set the activation for your output unit y is equal to t. Okay, this is what is, this is the activation is done for the input unit and you are going to do the activation for your output unit. Okay, and the last in step 4, you are going to do the weight updation. Okay, this is your weight updation or it may be your weight adjustment. Okay, so you can do the weights updates and also bias update. So that is nothing but new weight will be equal to old weight plus xi into y. B new will be equal to B old plus y. So this is a simple training algorithm for your HEP network. So first we are going to initialize the weights and bias for all the input unit, uh, for all the inputs. Next we are going to for each training input output pair, you are going to perform the steps 2 to 4. So in step 2, you are going to activate the input unit. In step 3, you are going to activate the output unit. And step 4, you are going to update the weights like this. So using this particular algorithm, you can easily solve all the head network problems okay
in today's lecture i have explained to you the introduction about the hebb network so the rule the definition of the hebb rule and i have also given you the two laws for your hebb law and then i have explained to you the simple flow chart of hebb network and its training algorithm so the next video i'll be solving the numerical problems of how, how to solve problems using hebb network thank you for watching